Bone height is measured in areas of tooth 14, 15 and 16 with the CT scan, verifying 6.54 and 3.5 millimeters of bone height. Horizontal full thickness flap where the palatal bias is raised, starting from the tuberosity region to the distal line angle of tooth 13. A small vertical incision is made to expose the alveolar crest. The future implant insertion sites are marked with a pilot drill. The depth is predetermined according to measurements obtained from the CT scan. The drilling should stop 1 mm below the sinus floor. The osteotomy is widened from 2 mm to 2.9 mm using the Miambi osteotome. Bone substitute is injected into the osteotomy with a dedicated bone graft injector. After controlled fracturing of the sinus floor, a periapical radiograph is obtained to verify the length of penetration of the osteotome into the sinus. Bone in substitute is injected again into the osteotomy and the screw tap is unscrewed into the osteotomy. A periapical radiograph is obtained to confirm the penetration of the screw tap into the sinus. The membrane integrity is reassessed by a Valsava maneuver. The balloon harboring device is inserted into the osteotomy one millimeter beyond the sinus floor. The balloon is inflated slowly with a dedicated inflator. The pressure is gradually increased up to two atmospheres. When the balloon emerges from within the metal sleeve of the balloon harboring device, it applies homogeneous gentle pressure under the antral membrane. Consequently, the membrane yields and is lifted into the maxillary sinus cavity. This results in a pressure drop down to 0.5 atmospheres within the balloon system. Subsequently, the balloon is inflated with progressively higher volumes of contrast fluid. The balloon inflation and membrane elevation are evaluated by sequential periapical radiographs. Once the desired elevation is obtained, the balloon should be left inflated for five minutes to reduce the sinus membrane elasticity. After five minutes, the handle of the three-way stopcock is turned towards the 5cc syringe and the contrast fluid emerges from the balloon into the syringe and the balloon harboring device is removed. In this view, one can see by direct vision the integrity of the antral membrane moving on inspiration and expiration. Visual access to the antral floor via the osteotomy site ensures verification of the antral membrane integrity. This now enables the continuation of the augmentation by bone substitute injection. Bone substitute BioOS is mixed with saline and fresh blood. The mix is inserted into the dedicated bone graft injector and is injected into the osteotomy under the antral membrane. A periapical x-ray is taken to verify the density of the bone fill. Immediately after bone augmentation, Implants are screwed into the osteotomies sequentially, in this case 16, 15 and 14. Residual ridge height of 4 to 5 millimeters ensures initial fixation on implant placement for primary stability and optimal integration. After implant placement, a final periapical radiograph is obtained to confirm adequate bone fill and implant location. Primary closure is performed with continuous sutures in the horizontal incision and a simple suture in the vertical incision.